Welcome to episode six of Between Two Vines. We are continuing our project where we are interviewing and working with some of our leaders in our school district. Today, we have Jackie Alvarez, new principal of Violin High School South. Before becoming a principal, she was an assistant principal in the same building, and prior to that, she worked as a world language teacher as well. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Likewise. Excellent. So we have a few questions, right? So we're just going to have a conversation, all right? Um, so talk to us a little bit about what your motivation to become a school administrator. So I started my teaching career in 2001. Uh, I had a lot of support from former teachers that I just ran into in the community because I'm a Vineland native. Um, Carrie Valentino was my former Spanish teacher and she was instrumental in just encouraging me to become a Spanish teacher. Um, Gloria Sabater was also my teacher as a student here at Vineland High School and she was instrumental back when I was a student here as well. It started even at that experience as well. Um, she really esteemed her work and I just threw my hat in. I took the test, I became a teacher, and I was mentored by many wonderful educators here. So from there, I became more language department chair. And again, going back to Gloria Sabater, she was department chair as well. And she dabbled in a little bit of everything. And I remembered that of her. So I wanted to esteem our hometown school. Uh, I got involved in various committees and clubs while I was here and just pioneered some things and enjoyed programming. And um, little by little, people started to notice and encourage me to uh, throw my hat in to administration. In between there, I had my children. Um, and then I figured about midway through my career, I would dust the degree off and just throw my hat in. And sure enough, it happened that way about 14 years into my teaching career and uh, department chair time. Um, I became an assistant principal at Vineland High School South. I spent most of my teaching career at the Tanner Building. And then from there, uh, other people just started to really mentor me and just uh, start to really encourage me to proceed forward. And that is how I got to this role. That's, that's incredible. So right. you, you spoke a lot about mentoring and these powerful figures in Vineland Public Schools. Uh, absolutely. Gloria Sabater absolutely. Uh, became the, the, we used uh, her name and honored her at absolutely. The, our new building in Center City. So uh, having that mentoring relationship and having people who invest in you is a great way to rise up. And absolutely. It sounds like now you're doing that with the next generation. Absolutely. It started as early as high school. So I say that to my students. Um, students are watching their educators in, in their buildings and uh, they're learning from their um, leadership roles. And that was instrumental for me. She was she not only dabbled in the space of world languages, but she did other things. And she was just a great, great contributor to her uh, school. So Excellent. it was it, it was impressioning. It, it, it had a lasting impression on me. Absolutely. So now you're the, the, the leader of Correct. the 1112 building, BHS Correct. South. Describe the culture of this building. So there's a lot of rich history here that uh, people take great pride in. And uh, we foster that here at Vineland. Uh, we want to make sure that we esteem our school always uh, and the assets that our school has. Uh, our school is very familial. Um, we bring in a lot of different experiences and talents to uh, the day-to-day -day operations of this school. Students have so many contributions to one another in what their journeys have been. So we leverage that here at Vineland High School and that is what really makes Vineland High School shine. We are an asset to, uh, or an extension, I should say, of our community. We have so many wonderful experiences to expose other people to and just angles and views. And we're just proud of that. And we highlight that here at Vineland High School. Oh, that's so wonderful to hear. Correct. Thinking about your time, because it's been not, it hasn't been a year yet. No, it has been not. Been around six months or so. Correct. And well, even less. Even but less. yes. <laughs> okay. But you've hit the ground running. Absolutely. Talk to us a little bit about our, our, our listeners and our viewers really want to know, what are you doing at this building with your APs to help develop a real positive, engaging learning environment for your students and for your staff? 
So we have a program called Positive Behavior Supports here at Byman High School. We want to acknowledge students for being respectful and tolerant and just um, students that are, uh, our motto here at Byman High School is enter to learn, go forth to serve. And really leveraging that, that has been around forever, but just really making sure that people live by that at all different aspects, all different stakeholders live by that. And so, we um, really emphasize on leadership here at the, at the high school. We want our students and our staff to take leadership roles and take ownership. And as I was saying previously, esteeming our hometown school. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we, we want to make sure that our students' assets are highlighted along the way in whatever avenue that they express interest in. So it's really getting to know people at their core um, and what they want to dabble into and really expose those talents and um, abilities that, that everybody has here at Byman High School. Excellent. So you're like the perfect model of the motto, right? Enter to learn. You came here as a student. You, sure. you went through the academic program. Correct. And now you're serving. You served as a teacher, as Absolutely. an AP, and now Absolutely. as the leader mm -hmm. of this building, of the 1112 building. Mm -hmm. uh, so excited, but you are the perfect model for our students Thank to you. see Thank and you. really aspire that, you know, people who look like you mm -hmm. can achieve the same greatness that you've achieved. Right. And there's still a lot of work to do. Absolutely. So highlight some re recent achievements for the building. Anything that you'd like to share that has got you excited? So we had our Mr. Vineman uh, event recently. And again, speaking of highlighting the assets of our students and the talents of our students, they displayed them really, really well. And it's, it's just a cohesive experience for our students to participate in and our staff to participate in. So we were very, very proud of that um, particular event. Mm -hmm. We're gearing up for our national junior honor society ceremony on monday as well so we're re really excited about that and all the accolades that our students are receiving along the way so um we we try to highlight our students and staff in many many different ways we have student of the month we have staffalty of the month we really do do uh, a lot within the different realms that students choose to uh, participate in, whether it is the fine arts, athletics, music, et cetera. Uh, we want to make sure that students are being highlighted in those spaces along the way. So we'll have different events throughout the year. Um, this is our, we're, we're approaching our spring season. This is when uh, different activities take, it, take place. And this is when uh, things will be highlighted uh, greatly depending on what area of, you know, interest the students have shown. Excellent, excellent, so exciting. Student voice, student, student engagement. Correct. What are you doing now and how do you encourage our students to take the lead and so we can hear their voice? Because sometimes we pay attention to the adults, but it's our students that we need to be paying attention to Absolutely. even more. How do you encourage students to share their voice? So Mr. Adams and I shared a similar interest in really um, having students take leadership roles within their realms of, of interest and expertise and assets and talents. It was very important for us from the beginning to really have student voice mm -hmm. at this school. So as simple as um, warning announcements, PM announcements, really having that be student driven and student led. Uh, touching base with our different class officers and different um, student body representation. <clears throat> we wanted to make sure that our students had a voice within the school and, like I said previously, esteem their school because we know that that really lends itself to culture and climate here at this school. So we, we hit the ground running really hard. We met with our students right from the door. We meet with them regularly within different aspects of the their realms of interest, whether it be the class officers, we instituted um, class officers within different class grade levels, that is, we also instituted communications ambassadors because we want to ensure because of the size of our school that there is plenty of communication um, to our students and staff about all the wonderful things that are going on here at Vineland High School. So we've 
we're really honing in on that leadership piece and having a pulse in what our student interests are and really leveraging their skill sets so that post-graduation, they are prepared to leverage that as well. If they are interested in any particular avenue, that's an asset for them. And that's something that they can put on a resume. So as a principal of an 11 and 12 building, I wanna make sure that they have a wonderful portfolio as they proceed into whatever it is that their future aspirations are. Excellent, excellent. So last question for you. Mm-hmm. You know, parent engagement and community engagement are critical for a successful mm-hmm. high school. How can you get parents in the community more involved? And what's your message to mm-hmm. parents and to the community? So we recently had, a couple months ago, a community conversations activity, and I really enjoyed that, and I would love to see more participation in that. We also had Speak Up, which is a student-driven activity that also has our faculty and staff supporting it as well, and we had great involvement in that as well. Um, But, you know, I understand that parents are at different Uh, spaces in their time and their ability to contribute. And we can do that within wherever we are. Um, As simple as logging into Genesis and being attentive to, you know, your child's attendance and conduct and just what the email addresses are of your teachers. And if you have a question, feel free. We are hospitable here. We want to welcome every single parent, guardian, Uh, of a child to ask questions. Uh, We have an open door policy here here at Vineland High School. We want to support our families as well because we're in this journey with you and we recognize that it isn't easy as a parent of you know students that are at this age level as well i recognize you know the challenges with they're involved in different things or you know it's just a busy time of life so Mm -hmm. as Uh, There's a simplistic way of this, uh, uh, of doing this, but we also encourage parents to really get involved, come to our different activities, um, ask questions, get involved and engage with the guidance department, sign up for things, come to our sports and activities, anything that fosters our students' development, I would highly recommend parents to really um, journey with us in that process because that's what we're here to do for them. So important. These students... Are getting ready to go to college, absolutely to start a career, technical, or to serve. Exactly right. Parents need to be involved in that process. Exactly right. Connection to the guidance counselors mm-hmm. about what happens next. Exactly. What right. are your plans, and what are you going to do, and how will you support your child? And we are prepared to answer those questions. Excellent. So we're here to support them through this journey. We um, are an extension of what they do for their children. We care for their children here at Vineland High School. Wonderful. As we get ready to close up our interview, just one final question for me that wasn't on your list. (laughs) Tell us something about you that probably most people don't know about you. So most people wouldn't know that I was also a bilingual student here at Vineland. Um, and the journey of that experience really lends itself to my lens as I proceed in this experience as an administrator here at Feynman High School. So I'm very proud of that experience. I'm very proud of being bilingual. Um, I'm very proud of all of the assets that our students have here at Feynman High School, and that really is where I proceed with things as I Uh, endeavor in this experience as a principal is just really looking at the assets of our students and really leveraging that. Um, Sometimes students are really hard on themselves um, and we all have an asset to give and we just have to find that here. And before they leave Vineland High School, it is my responsibility and our staff's responsibility to ensure that we find that uh, niche for them. Um, so that that is certainly something I want to leave, That's you know, right. here yeah. as a, as an impression. You you attended and you found your place absolutely in, in our school system. Anything is possible here at Vineland right. High School. Anything is absolutely possible. So as a as a native of this town, I I um, hope that people are watching and uh, aspiring to um, greater things. You know, uh, that's that's what Vineland High School is all about. Wonderful. 
It's Absolutely. been such a pleasure to have this Likewise. opportunity to learn more about you, to Thank hear you. your story Thank in, you. in detail, Thank and you. just know that you are here to serve. You're here Absolutely. for the community. You're here mm -hmm. for our parents. You're here for our students. Absolutely. So let's continue to do great work together. Thank you Thank again. You. Very much appreciated. Thank you.